Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm going to do part 2 of the Bunch Tight End ebook out of the Jets playbook. For you guys that don't know yet, I'm doing the Jets offense. Next, really loving the bunch. I ran it for this past weekend's weekend league. First time top 100, I think, this year. Um, first time running it too. I feel like this is the offense you want to go with if you, if you want to run a bunch. I personally felt like I got too, me too mechanical in my old bunch which was a bunch offset out of the panthers if you guys haven't watched that video yet, it's a great video it's probably the top one of the top two videos this year uh or this madden season rather for me view wise definitely recommend you guys to check that out but this is going to be kind of the upgraded version of the gun bunch pretty much every pro is running this right now i am enjoying it a lot so i want to bring you guys along the way also this is the secondary scheme of course my main scheme is the bunch but if i feel like i'm getting bagged in bunch I'm going to go to bunch tight end, which still is tough. You can see a lot of the word of bunch. This is the best formation pretty much every year. Sometimes it's also trips tight end like this year, but bunch is very consistent. It's the thing you want to go with. Now we're going to talk about what we set our audibles to, because generally the thing I do is I come on in bunch. If I don't like the look that I just go to bunch offset and have fun there. Uh, not bunch offset, bunch tight end. So if we're on this screen inside switch, I like that play. I want to keep that play. P boot over. I definitely want to keep that play. That is the play audible to most often. Tight end corner. That's kind of the flexible spot. What do you want there? You can have mesh there if you want a little bit of a deeper corner out. Tight end corner, however, is perfectly fine. I'll just keep that. Important you want to have inside zone. I did not talk about this in the last video. Also, one thing uh, that's very important for you guys to know. You generally want to run the normal bunch with the uh, through our series to the right side meaning that if you're on the left hash mark there's more room on the right side of the field meaning the three wide receivers are going to be on the right if we then audible to tight to bunch tight end we will have the three wide receivers on the short side so they're flipped so if, as you can see right here bunch on the right regular bunch bunch tight end bunch on the left so that is why i really like audibling you generally want your bunch to the right side in the normal bunch and in bunch tight end, the three wide receivers have to be the, to the short side. That kind of makes the plays a little bit better. Both uh, the crossing route and every route, up, every route pretty much in that uh, formation. So, I'm just going to call up spacing switch. And this is basically what I'm going to do. I come out in bunch. All right, maybe I, let's say I don't like that look. All right, I'll just audible over, which is uh, square. And then on the D-pad, left. And then I can call any of these plays. I'll just call PA boot over. The first step, I already showed you this. You just want to put the tight end on the delay fades and then snap the ball. Play, uh, keep the play action. It kind of helps you with blocking. And then you can see this is just absolutely deadly. Now, let's say that your opponent kind of is catching on to that. What can you do to stop that? Well, you just call inside zone right there. Look the exact same. An experienced player might be able to shoot that. But you just try to get as many yards as you can. In practice mode especially, shots are crazy. So, if this doesn't look great, trust me, in Madden, if in, not Madden, in online Madden, if you can switch it up between PA boot over and inside zone, you can have a great time. But this is not just about the crossing route. What I, what I want to talk about is the tight end crossing route. This is my secondary setup. I really like this. You can also do this with the bunch to the wide side, but I prefer it to the short side a little bit better. So, we're going to snap the ball. You can see it still carries us out that way. We can still hit that crossing route. And here's where it gets tricky. So, I run Playmaker and Ultimate Team. I, have, I invested in Tyreek Hill. He's amazing. But if you can get someone like Deion Sanders, he's perfectly fine too. 97 speed on Deion Sanders. That works very well. So, you want to make sure that you have number 10. Or let me think. Which one of the ones is the one? Okay. The outside bunch receiver on whichever side you have to bunch to, that's where you want Playmaker at. Number 10 right here, DeAndre Hopkins. He want, should have Playmaker. So then if you run this play right here, you can do this, boom, and then Playmaker, circle up the field. If he has Playmaker, he's going to have a sharper cut. That means you're going to be able to throw it quicker. He's going to react quicker. He's going to have a little bit of a better cut. Just in general, he's going to be pretty quick with it. So that's why you want Playmaker right there. Going to do the same thing again. It's important. Put a hitch on Jones. Cross around a kill. Uh, you can keep the play action if you want to. But... Sometimes you just can also cancel it just to make things look a little bit different and then this crossing out of course You can throw with the pass lead down Sometimes your opponent is going to put zone drops out there that will cover this. Oh, let me actually audible My bad. Sometimes your opponent is going to put a zone drop out there That's going to cover that perfectly even with the hitch there in that case you just Do this all right you wait you wait you wait and then just throw that with a low pass fastly to the inside and Obviously it was covered right there just saying 
If 27 were to cover the tight end, then obviously we can hit the hitch. But there's a little bit more to this and not right now. Uh, what I mean by that, this is going to be a little bit weird. I'm going to show you how to beat cover 3. This is not going to work though. Cover 3 got really buffed. Buffed. Buffed, I mean. Really got better. And generally, this was how you used to be able to beat cover 3. So you would just snap the ball, get the protection, roll out. But now you can see how this is just covered. You can do that. That's a broken play. I don't like it because sometimes the tight end is going to bounce unpre unpredictably. In regular uh, Madden, though, if I, I, I suppose they're going to like nerf this stuff back, right? Like, there's no way they're just going to keep this forever. So all you want to do is you just want to put the tight end across here. On, uh, on the corner. And if you want to put, if you want to make it extra open for the for future reference, actually you want to run this with the bunch on the bunch tight end to the wide side. My bad, you guys. So you're gonna do this, boom, put a fade or a streak on Thomas, put a corner out, uh, right there, and that is how you used to beat cover three. But right now, after the recent patch, cover three is not. You can you pretty much can't bomb cover three anymore. Kind of wild because cover three bombs is the reason why I switched to the Jets. But if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. What can you do? Now I want to talk about. I feel like I'm gonna switch this ebook right now on the bunch tight end. It is pretty short of an ebook. Uh, this is kind of my secondary scheme, as I said. So this is not what I run to start a game. If my opponent gives me trouble, then I might switch to it. But yeah, that's what it is. Take it for what it is. This uh, post. What is it called? X spot. I think it's called X spot. I didn't actually look on the play call screen. It's decent. Uh, the route from kill is kind of weird. Sometimes you're gonna catch your opponent with it. Sometimes you're not gonna. I, I don't like that route to throw. I don't, I don't like to throw that route personally. I just feel like I can get picked too easily. And if your opponent is ready for it, he, it looks like he's not going to be ready for it. And then he's just going to undercut it. And it takes a long time to develop. It's not for me. The corner route on Hopkins, however, I kind of like it. Um, if, you, if you put a streak out there, something like that. And then go with a curl and maybe a thing to the halfback. Then you can have some success with it. Hit that flat, take it up the field a couple of yards. But there's not much more to that play. So we're going to skip right over it. We're going to go to inside switch. Now, inside switch, this is where things get interesting. You want a smart rock kittle. You want to put uh, uh, like triangle on a slant, motion snap him across. And now you have multiple reads. You can throw it to square right there. Try to buff, uh, like really zing, zing that in there. That was that looked pretty tight. It is a tight throw, so you really have to know your timing, but you definitely can make it. The other thing that you want to look for is right here, right off the bat, the flat, and then afterwards that uh, slant with the low pass. Obviously, you can also look right to the running back right away. That is the first thing I recommend you to look at, actually. But if I'm breaking plays down, you guys know by now, as soon as you see the running back open, let's say right here, okay, boom, I'll, I'll, I'll hit him. I'll hit him, I'll take my yards. Very easy, you guys know that. That is a big theme in my ebooks. I like to put that running back out on a flat and see what it does for me. Generally, your opponent is not going to really pay attention to it. And if they then also have to defend that flat, then that, of course, makes a lot of adjustments necessary. And you can quick hike people quite easily. There are many setups where you don't even have to motion. So this goes really quickly. Um, sometimes all I do is I audible to switch. All right, boom, and I'm snapping the ball. If I think he's not going to be right, I'll just, I'll just hike the ball. Throw it to the running back. Very easy. But there's not much more to inside switch. There's one more thing. I guess I kind of have to bring it up. This is kind of a decent way to score in the red zone. Uh, a lot of people like to run cover three. So the setup in the red zone at least. Uh, so the setup with the slant is still going to work. The thing with the tight end though is a little bit tricky. So what I recommend you to do is you want to put the tight end on a flat route. Uh, put the running back behind him on a wheel. And then you can kind of get a little bit creative. Maybe this is actually better to the wide side of the field. Uh, but we'll keep it going for now. And then there's this nice window where you can throw the ball. This actually, this just vibrates. Wow. I was loud. Um, we'll just try the bunch of the shorts. I feel like that way is a little bit better. I lapped that, this a long time ago. I've seen some people running online too. So this kind of reminded me of it. Uh, let me actually do that again. Boom. Slant on a triangle. And now you see the reads so we're gonna snap the ball right here there is a window for me to oh, wow that swerving with the running back this year is kind of tough my bad you guys uh i'll do this one more time and then i will just say run this in the red zone 
because there's not much more to it. Um, if we also wait a little bit, then we can... Oh my god, he's gonna stop. Uh, this is a risky throw. I thought he was gonna stop there. Thankfully, he kept going. Sometimes you can uh, throw that. Just know if the, if your opponent's user is not in the area of that, you can throw that. If you have a tall receiver like I have, Randy Moss is there uh, in my ultimate team. You can look to throw that with a high pass. I'm not sure if number 87 is going to be uh, good enough for that. No, actually not. Um, so this is a tough throw. You can make it work. But be careful with it. The main read really is the running back to the slant. It is a very similar thing to the, uh, to the offense that I ran. Uh, earlier in the year, strong close. Also has that uh, slant flat combination. Really nice if I do say so myself. But there's not much more to uh, this inside switch. Also, uh, my bad. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, guys. Jeez. This smart route, a corner route from the tight end, does an amazing job against man. You will see how he just gets a step right here. And then I just have to pass lead that to the outside. Once again, 9 and speed, 9 and zone, 9 and man coverage on that uh, safety at linebacker right there. So this is as covered as it'll ever be. Trust me, this doesn't, Mankers does not cover this. You can see I get some separation right there. Oh my god, I didn't smart route it. Important you smart route that. Smart route it, it's a little bit better right there. I got some separation. Smart route it, even better. Trust me, absolutely love it. Smart, uh, the, also, uh, while we're on the topic of beating man coverage, while we're on the topic of nuts, uh, to make a joke about the throne or whatever. Let me actually press, make this more realistic. Uh, the route from square can get open, but it's not 100%. Post this year, this is kind of like a post, the hot route master post, where you can put a sharp post on like any receiver in the slot. This, th these are not th that great this year. I don't know why they nerfed them. They're not awesome at beating man cover, so you really have to be careful with that. Sometimes it's open, sometimes it's not. Don't throw it in the red zone. I throw a lot of picks. I'm very stupid. I throw picks in the red zone because I want to throw that post so bad and then it's just covered. So be careful with that one, obviously. Just wanted to reiterate that. Don't want you guys to make this, making the same uh, mistakes I make. Tight end corner. This play, I have to be careful with it. I have to be careful with it. First of all, the thing you want, you want the punch to the wide side. Also, if I were you, I would really go into practice mode and try all these setups out. Also, try them to, uh, to the short side because sometimes you're not going to have the choice. And you just really want to run a certain play. Then, of course, th this gets interesting. So what you want is you want to put uh, Smart Route Thomas, put Kill on a streak. The running back on a flat route, so you have kind of like this triangle thing going. Uh, with the, the post, the streak, and the flat. An out route on Hopkins and Jones on a curl. Now we're going to motion out Jones. And this is now where things get interesting. Right here we have to make a read. What is covered? Is it is the out route? I waited so long right there. I, th I would have thrown it to the uh, curl way earlier. I just wanted to talk for a moment. This is now where things get interesting. What does the cornerback cover? Does he cover the, uh, the out route or does he cover the, uh, the curl out? My bad. I couldn't speak right there. I didn't remember what the hell those things are called. So we're going to snap the ball. And you can see right here. I thought it with a low pass. Um, bad read by me. The main thing though is you want to throw it to circle. And this is just kind of a distraction. If, you, if this is a backside read. If it's there. All right, but if it's not there, don't force it like I did right there. Um, snap the ball. Sorry, I'm a little bit tired, guys. Today was a long-ass school day. I'm not going to lie to you. Tough times. Uh, didn't get that one in bounds. Sorry. Ugh. All right, we're back. But yeah, Titan Corner really got nerfed. Titan Corner not as good as it used to be, sadly. Um, the smart route on the tight end also works. So there you have two man beaters, Thomas and Kittle, both going to beat man. And then backside, it really depends what you want to do. You can perhaps do something like this where you put Hopkins on a slant and then just motion him across. This is a nice man beater. All the four routes are going to beat man coverage. The out route is going to beat man. Both post, uh, The post, the corner, both going to beat man coverage. And then the slant, of course, is going to absolutely destroy man. Motion snap especially. But yeah, there's not much more for me to say now about this play at least. Now this is where things are going to get a little bit tricky. We want to come out in tight end corner. My bad. You can run this play of any corner that, a play that I'm going to show you. I just like tight end corner. Um, especially for the blocking. So we want to put Jones on a hitch. We want to put Thomas on a slant. We want to put McCaffrey on a flat route. We want to put Kittle on a crossing route. Also, every offense that I'm running from now is going to be uh, out of... How do you say? It's going to be... Uh, hot Rod Master. 
and then you're just gonna motion Hopkins across. Now we're gonna wait pretty much just before he, he sits and then we're gonna throw that post or the crosser or the running back or the hitch or the slant. Against zone, this is an absolute zone killer. So this is why I'll show this to you again. Hitch, slant on Thomas, crosser on Kittle, flat route on McCaffrey. And there's one way I would like to run this even more. I like putting Hopkins on a crosser and then motion him across. So you will see what, what's going to happen. Even better with the bunch to the short side, but you can also run this with the bunch to the wide side. So we're going to snap the ball. And now he gets in a really nice area. That is really nice. That, again, 99 speed, 99 zone, 99 playback. If that doesn't cover it, nothing's going to cover it. So, uh, so let's... Go here. Also, the crosser is gonna beat man. So if your opponent, if, if your opponent catches you, not ready to beat man. This play is still gonna beat man. Tight end cross is gonna beat man. Slant is gonna beat man, and the crosser motion is gonna beat man. Once again, hitch, slant, crosser, crosser on the tight end and the wide receiver, uh, flat route, and there we go. Now we're gonna wait just before he sets. Then we're gonna snap this ball. So right here, it gets slower. Boom, snap this ball. Tight end is open, and that crosser is also open earlier. I throw it a little bit too late to, to the wide receiver. You can throw all these uh, routes. Again, if the zone drops back on the tight end crosser, then just hit the hitch. It's that simple. This play works out of any play. <laughs> That's weird to say. One more time, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep the corner out, uh, for now turned into a post. This is a very similar setup to the one I showed earlier in my trip tight end. Uh, with what is it called, like spot, right there. Very easy throw. You're gonna put your opponent's user kind of in a tough choice, having to make a tough choice. Do I cover the crosser? Do I cover the post? Whichever one is gonna choose, you're gonna have a read. And of course, checking down to the flat route to the running back or to the slant. Both very prominent to use that gut fox inside joke. Now, obviously, inside zone, always there. You can audible. Just quick hike it. Really catch your opponent slacking. This inside zone is especially nice against. Uh, weaker boxes, let's say a 3 3 5 odd, where he's gonna try to blitz you with two guys and then he's just gonna drop everyone in coverage. Just hit him with a nice inside zone. He's gonna struggle defending that a lot, unless your opponent really knows what he's doing. In that, in that case, then of course, it's really gonna be a chess match. But the typical player, you're gonna beat really nice with that inside zone. It looks terribly right there, but trust me, online it works, especially if you mix it up with the PA boot over nicely. I think we're about at the end of the bunch tight end. Um, I really, I started running this. I did not feel overwhelmed. The thing you need for this is Michael Vick. I am not running Michael Vick, so this means why I'm kind of like, uh, it's there. I definitely can use it, but with Michael Vick is a little bit more effective, more efficient. You can put it. You only need tight end uh, practice for this offense, pretty much. I am using because I have hot shot master. And I'm also gonna put my running back on flats. You don't really need that. But if you want to run the exact thing, just had to close my pocket right there. If you want to run the exact same thing, I'm running, I'm running Hot Rod Mass, Rich Cannon. He's not that expensive anymore. I think he's like, he's like four, 400. Wow, he's like 150k. I think the power up is pretty cheap. You can bypass his 987 uh, with a power up pass, obviously. So, in general, you sh definitely should be using uh, Rich Gannon right now. I really like him. Let's go back to this right here. There's one more play, this mesh kind of thing that I like. This is more of a deeper corner. I especially like this with the bunch to the white side. I forgot to mention this. I'm sorry. This kind of like off the top of my head right here. So, all you want to do is you want to put Thomas on a streak. Maybe Hopkins on a post. Keep the tight end on a drag. Running back on a flat is optional. And then you're going to motion out Thomas. Now, we're going to let him set. We're going to snap the ball. You will see how square gets pumped. But then, it's a nice deep corner out. This really is nothing special. Your opponent can definitely use it. But I just wanted to show you that it's there. Sadly, there's not too much more about this play that makes me want to go, wow, really have to show you this. This is really not a great play. Just know there's that one thing. You just need a streak on Thomas. Motion him out. And then, my man had to burp right there. But then you can do whatever you want with him. Maybe I will do a follow-up if I find some new setups. But that's pretty much all I have for you right now. The be the faster your quarterback, the better Rich can is pretty fast also. <sighs> Tom Brady is pretty fast. Nice. Really Rich can, in my opinion, is the only option right now at quarterback. He gained a third and 21 first down for me uh, this weekend league. 
He played amazingly. This offense, it's tough, but it's even tougher if you have Michael Vick. If you run exactly one, what I'm running, make sure to use Rich Cannon. Pretty fast, hot rod master, obviously. Gun Bunch is coming soon. I don't know how soon. I will play, I'll, I'll keep playing in this league. I'm streaming actually uh, later today, actually in one hour I have since I'm recording this. So yeah, if you guys want to check it out, I'm going to put the link to my Twitch in the description. There's, there's some more links in the description. Also the link to my ebook, uh, the voice crack right there. The Panthers Gun Bunch offense is going to be broken down in my uh, on my pay hip. There is a free link to it. Even though I say pay hip, obviously it's totally for free, zero bucks. You just have to download it. I wanted this is kind of like a nice way for me to organize my stuff so where I don't have to send out every link individually. You can just get it on there for free. I hope you enjoy that. Also, check out my previous videos. There's a nice video I did on strong close. Also on the Panthers bunch. Obviously, don't miss that. Until next time, goodbye, guys. I hope I can bring in this gun bunch very soon. I have to do some more labbing, but I think I've already expo explored it pretty well. So there might be a big video coming soon. Be ready for that. Until next time, goodbye, guys. And I appreciate you taking the time very much.